Hello Aries, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, Irish and Tarot. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, welcome to new visitors and thank you to subscribers. Let's get started with your reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other signs. Let's see what the mutual energy is between you and your love interest. Eight of Wands. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. It's about the excitement, it's about the adventure, it's about hot texts maybe, but it's also about like going on vacation, you know, really meeting somebody that is someone with whom you can have a beautiful, passionate connection. Look at this, where are you going? It looks like you're going on a trip, Aries. I'm getting the card of cancer. That's when we get the chariot card. That is all about hurry up, hurry up, let's get going. What are we waiting for here? And it's mutual energy. So both of you are pretty fired up. Your person is viewing the situation in your relationship as a decision has been made or is about to be made to expand your horizons with one another, to expand your world. Uh, they feel that your relationship is larger than life. You have three of four major arcanas here. So that is Aquarius. We see Scorpio energy. We see Cancerian and Sagittarius. So nice energy. Okay. So how do they view you, Aries? How does your person view you in love? They feel as though, yeah, <laughs> they feel as though you're watching them on social media. <laughs> they also see you as someone who is just starting out some sort of enterprise, hobby, a new adventure. They feel as though you're risk taking right now, that you're learning something new. In their heart space, they want to leave with you. So the way I'm reading this is because we have the Chariot card here. I'm reading the Eight of Cups as an energy that says that they want a new beginning with you in a different location. It truly looks like you and your person may be talking about moving, um, moving up or moving on. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting. Okay, how do they view this situation? They are, they feel as though... They're not sure if there's equal give and take in the relationship. Now, I want to clarify something really important. They don't know whether both of you are really on the same page in terms of equal give and take. It's just as likely that they think that they haven't invested enough just like they, it's possible that they think you haven't invested enough. So right now they feel as though this is a very big turning point in your relationship. Many of you are married or living together. This is happily ever after. It's mutual energy. The love is there. You know, you both have children or you've had children together, typically. This is a happily ever after card. Both of you want this. So that's the energy that I'm seeing is that the passion is amazing. It's time to take off. It's time to make decisions. It's very much, you know, there's almost a feeling that you might have two homes. Does that make sense? For some of you it will. It won't for everybody. But it's almost like I want to juggle two. I want to make sure that the time, that the money would be okay. But it, it's like expanding horizons in this relationship. What's Spirit recommending? Six of Swords, make the move. Okay. So though, for those of you who are thinking about leaving the area that you're in physically to move to another area, it looks like Spirit is in concurrence and it brings about victory for you. Aries, that is Leo energy. It's getting to really announce to the public at large that you're together, that you're a couple. It's a probably one of the first major moves you've made together is how I'm reading this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clarify the cards. Why do we have the Eight of Wands? Looks like you've had some pretty lusty nights in the recent past or days or whatever. So why is the Eight of Wands? Here's your mutual energy. Happily ever after. Look at We're getting a lot of this. A lot of duplication. When you're happy together, you make love often, you talk often, it looks really great. 
Why is the chariot card here a victory? You're moving very quickly towards a victory in your love relationship. Aries, what are you guys up to? Leave comments below because, you know, when these are general readings, I don't know how they resonate with each of you individually. So I love to hear the show. Oh, Aries, your person thinks that you are very masterful that you are on board with the decisions that they would like to make. They feel as though the two of you are playing it cool right now. They see the situation as, as one in which the two of you are moving in harmony, beautiful harmony. It looks like there's a delay in the plans. The world card to me oftentimes represents Aquarius, well, it's Aquarius energy, and the judgment card is Scorpio energy. So I would say you may be moving to a more international location and or a location that could be a thousand miles away or more is how I usually read this. Why is the hanged man here? Your person really worries. They're very worried about this move. They're afraid that maybe it won't take place. They're afraid that you might not be happy if you make it, okay? So it does look like, you know, the grand scheme of things, the plans that they're making are plans that may not really be in line with what you want long term. So they don't know if you're going to be happy. So they're very concerned about what looks like a move. But Spirit is saying take the move, take the risk. The Four of Coins looks as though they think that you're holding back. They feel very much as they view you that, you know, you don't want to talk about it. That, you know, you're really taking a very conservative view of this. The Justice card indicates that they feel that you want to be very balanced in any decision that you make. Aries, they feel very much that... You definitely also, you want equal give and take. You want to make sure that your person is going to be an equal partner for you. Look at this, the Eight of Wands. They feel very passionate. They want to go. They want to leave the area and go someplace. Let's see. Let's look and see how they feel about it. This looks very much to me like a plan to move that hasn't been enacted. It's been fully discussed for many of you. And the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and there you are, the Aries Queen. Oh, they're not leaving without their Aries Queen. They may be taking off for happier times, but look at that's a beach. So if you, say for instance, if you're in the United States and you live in cold weather, this looks like your person wants to move to a more cosmopolitan area where there's warm weather or beaches. They want you with them, Aries. There you are right there in the reading. They don't plan on going anywhere without you. In fact, they're hanging around. <laughs> they don't want to have to defend their decisions. They don't want to... They really don't want to have any arguments with you at all. They're trying to kind of stay calm, cool, and collected. Why is the two of coins here for our beautiful Aries friends? Ah, oh, look at, just as you're in this page energy, they want to throw caution to the winds. They want to just make that decision. They want to throw caution to the winds. They want to invest. The seven of coins is Taurus energy. You may be dealing with a Taurus. Uh, all the signs, though, you know, we see Capricorn, I see Taurus, I'm seeing all the signs here. Now we have the Page of Swords. Yeah, here we go. While you're upright, they feel as though you are doing something brand new, that you're learning something brand new that may make you want to stay in the area that you're in physically. So right now your person is, you know, wondering if you're going to make this move with them. They're getting very nervous about whether you'd be happy if you make the move. But it does look like whether it's a metaphorical move or a move forward in the relationship, it does look like your person's ideas, Aries, are very specific and what they want is what they want. And they're hoping that you're on board. Yep, judgment card again. They feel as though both of you have to be on board with this decision. It's one thing if they make if you make the decision together, but they also feel as though you need to be very content with whatever this decision is. Okay, because it's a big one. Major Arcana. So world card, like I said, is not, you know, if you have family in the area or something, it's really moving far away. It's, uh, and the judgment card is appearing twice, so your person wants to know 
Aries, whether you're really on board, whether you're going to be happy when you get there. The hidden energy is a beautiful Ten of Cups energy. It's all about happily ever after the Sun card. <laughs> Look at this. I do feel as though your person would like to be married to you. Now, I would be very careful about getting married to this person because I'm still seeing that there's some things to work out. I feel as though you're not always on the same page, and I think sometimes there's some stress in the relationship because of it. But your person, both of you want the same thing. I don't think that you view it the same way. <laughs> I think you have different opinions of what happiness looks like or how it gets manifested. I think that you're on the same page with wanting what you want, but I also feel very much that, you know what, you both want this energy of stability, you both want to move. Look at this. Here we go. Six of Swords. You're both on board to manifest. And look at you literally pick up and move quite a distance. You don't take too much with you either. This is going to be a move in which both of you really want to manifest this happiness, this energy of peacefulness, of joy, of love every night at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the week, really feeling in this magnificent Empress energy, Venus energy. Venus, again, is the ruler of Taurus. So again, Taurus, Capricorn, very, very, uh, your person wants to be very practical, very down to earth, and it looks like you do too, Aries. The Eight of Swords, your person is really afraid that you are not going to make the move. They're really afraid that if you get down there, that you might not like it. But they that's mutual energy. That But that's a guidance of spirit. Spirit is saying, don't hesitate. Spirit's advice is, don't hesitate, move forward, okay? So the Eight of Swords energy is, don't get all up in your head. Don't worry about it. You're going to have a victory. A new beginning, the Fool card, and the Three of Coins. So it does look like wherever you're moving, there are people that you both know. And in this particular card, it looks like there is, there's a the energy of two parents and a child. Okay, so we're going to look at the Sacred Destiny cards and see what Spirit is going to recommend. Because your person looks very determined to make this decision. You seem to be off in another place. You seem to be like, well, I'll leave it to them to work out the details. I've told them what, they, what I want, what I need. And so the truth. Okay, so you're comfortable. You've told your truth. We have the energy of flexibility. You're very flexible at this time. Um, and we see freedom. So you view this for you as a very freedom-oriented move. But I feel this is also mutual energy. I feel that you're very much on the same page. That, you know, spirit is going to give you a huge reward. Let's look and see the messages of love from the oracle cards about why your person really is fearful that you might not be happy or that you might hesitate. Let's see what we have. We have a lot, a lot of talking here. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. So your person feels as though you're best friends. I feel as though they probably posted that on social media because we get the page of swords. There is some sort of addiction. Your person seems to have some sort of addictive energy, Aries. And it looks as though they play hard, they goof off, that you find time to laugh. But I also feel as though you don't necessarily think that you can be completely open with this person. So Aries, that's why it looks as though this person is not really completely sure of you. You know, there's times when they think that you're holding back. I think that they hold back. I think that they're actually much more afraid of vulnerability than you are. Let's see how you're going to feel if you make this move. We get all these beautiful cards of happiness, of completion, of joyfulness, regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they've treated you. Oh, Aries, your person doesn't know if you're going to be happy or if they can make you happy. Because in the past, they haven't always been balanced with you. They haven't always treated you 
in the way that they think that they should have treated you. Whatever that means, you'll know. You definitely will know, so please leave comments. Intuitively, you already know the answer you seek, okay? So it looks as though you have criteria, that you have certain things that have to be in place. This person knows how you feel, and that if you reject this idea, it's divine protection for you. So your person really knows that there are some things that could be that you don't necessarily like about the way they operate, the way they do things. You love each other tremendously. That's not the question. So let's look at the shadow energy here. Aries, I want to see what it is that your person is doing that makes you feel... You're, you're going to go on the adventure, but there is a little, there's some skepticism here. Now, you're an adventurous sort, right? You are the sharp end of the spear. If anybody's up for an adventure, it's Aries. You are definitely going to go, but you don't know if it will work out long term. And you're okay with that. Your feeling is, well, you know, I have a good home here. I'll return. The world card, sure, there we go. We have the world card twice. So you're up for the adventure. You do want the travel. You do want to go the distance with your person. The Two of Pentacles says that you're not sure if it'll work out, but you're willing to take the chance. Let's see what else. It also shows that you're not sure if your person really gives their fair share. You know, in some ways it looks as though, yeah, the tower card. You do not feel that your person has been the most stable in a relationship. And for you, you're holding on to the relationship. You know, four pentacles, you're holding on to each other. There's great happiness. There's great joy. The king of cups says that you both love each other a great deal, but you don't have a tendency to over talk it. You have a tendency to do things for one another. The Nine of Wands, though, does say that you have worries. You've really worked hard for this relationship, and so now you do appear to be taking the leap of faith, and you're simply going to let the chips fall as they may. You have total confidence in yourself, in the decisions. You feel as though whatever you decide, and it does look like you decide to go with this person, um, you feel as though no matter what, you'll be in good shape, that you always have a place to come home to. You have people, it looks like you both have children around you, and it shows all that's glitter is not gold, and it shows that you don't necessarily think that, you, that you're not sold on the idea that your person is all that they seem. You feel as though there's always a little bit of hidden energy here. And we see chop wood. It's do or die. It's go time, as they say, right? It's go time. Do it or do or do not, as Yoda would have said. Message in a bottle. You're going to let spirit guide you. That's what you're doing. You're just, you're doing your thing. You're in your own space. And when the time is right, you'll pick up and go and you'll make your judgment call at the time. Sending you love, Aries. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.